Hi guys and welcome to 123MyOT. In this video we will show you how to erase and reset an M1 Mac with Apple Silicon. This applies to MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, Mac Mini, iMac or any other Apple M1 computer. You need to do this if you are giving away or selling your Mac and you want to make sure that your personal data is gone before you do so. The first thing to do is make sure you have a backup of your current data on the Mac because when we are finished, all your accounts and information will be removed. Step one is to update your Mac. You can do this by clicking on the Apple and then going to About This Mac. Make sure you are on version 11.3 or newer. This is important because earlier versions did not reset well. Just click on the Software Update button to update it. The next step is to remove your accounts from the Mac. To do that, you can click on System Preferences and then Apple ID. You need to now sign out of your Apple ID. To do this, click on Overview and then click on Sign Out. Just uncheck anything that you have here and click Continue. If you have iCloud turned on, you will get a prompt to download or delete from Mac. Just click Delete from Mac and then you might have to put in your iCloud password. After the iCloud password, you might also need to add in your Mac password. This is the password you use to open your Mac. Next, you will need to sign out of Messages. So go ahead and open up Messages. Then click on Messages in the top left and then click on Preferences. Next, click on iMessage and then Sign Out. Now that you have signed out of everything, you can start the process to reset the Mac and erase everything. So to shut down your Mac, go to the Apple menu and click on Shutdown and then just give it a moment to shut down. To get into the startup options on the M1 Max, you need to press and hold down the power button. If you do it right, you will see a message that says, continue holding for startup options. And you can let go when you see loading startup options. When that finishes loading up, just click on options and then click continue. Go ahead and click on Disk Utility and then Continue. Once that comes up, just go ahead and click on your drive. In my case it's called Macintosh HD. Then go ahead and click on Erase. And remember this will remove everything from your device. Use the drop down if you want to change the format of the drive and then click on Erase Volume Group. Next, click Erase Mac and then Erase Mac and Restart. Once it restarts, select your language and click the little arrow. To activate the Mac, you will need to add it to your Wi-Fi. Just go ahead and add it to your Wi-Fi. Go ahead and put in your Wi-Fi password. Now that your Mac is activated, click Exit to Recovery Utilities. And now you can click on reinstall Mac OS and then continue. Agree to the terms. Select your disk and then click on continue. Now it will tell you how long it will take. For me it's three hours. So this actually depends on how fast your internet connection is. Awesome. Now the Mac has been reset and all the data has been erased. So if you need to return, sell or give away your Mac, you can do so without worrying about your data. Guys, don't forget to check out my other videos such as the 24 inch iMac review. And do me a favor, if you know anyone who might like this video, please share it with them. Hit the subscribe button and smash the bell icon.